What is up everybody, Fred Lam here, and welcome to our next episode of our Shopify Masterclass. Now in the video title, you'll see about a new strategy called chasing the market. And I'm going to walk you through exactly what that means and how it is so important for your business, especially if you are drop shipping. Now, obviously this time I'm not sitting down, I'm standing up because I wanna actually showcase in a flip chart on what the chasing the market strategy is and what you need to do when you actually encounter this kind of specific problem for your Shopify store. So here's what we're gonna talk about. Chasing the market. All right, I hope you guys can actually see this, uh, which is, this pen really suck, so I'm gonna use another pen. Chasing the market. All right, so I apologize, I should have the thicker pen, but I hope you guys can see it. So what does it mean by chasing the market? So at the end of the day, let's take a look at advertising in general. When you're running ads inside Facebook, you're going after an audience size. Let's say that you are selling a cat's necklace. Now, one of the best strategy for you is to actually use flex targeting when you are testing out your particular product. Now, when you're testing out your product, maybe you can go after a targeting that's about cats and flexing it with necklace. And when you do this, you actually narrow your audience size down to let's say half a million audience size. So right now, what's gonna happen is that you, pretending that this pie has 50,000 people in there, okay? Now when you're setting up a Facebook ad, what you're essentially doing is you're having an ad to actually sell your whatever, let's say a, I, I, I really suck at drawing, let's say this, that, that's a necklace. Say that you have a cat necklace that you're selling to the market. Now when you're actually advertising, you're sending this message directly to this targeting over here that's around 500,000. Now when you start running your campaigns, you are going to actually get data towards your ads, right? You will see things like how much reach you got, what is the impression, what is the click-through rate, and what is the cost per click. Now when you're going in market, let's assume that at this point you are making money or you're breaking even, which is great because you can build a sales funnel, but as you are advertising toward this audience size, you will always only able to achieve, let's say a maximum of a 5% click-through rate link. So what that means is out of this 500,000 people, there are going to be 5% of people that actually went to your product page. So let's say that there's a 5% pool over here and this represents 5%. Now, when you're getting that 5% click-through rate, that means that out of this audience size, 5% of them are actually going to your product page and maybe buying your product, and you are making a killing with this. However, as time goes by, what's gonna happen is that your click-through rate link will start to decrease, and this is where a lot of people obviously start to have a problem with their store. A lot of people started out, they're getting sales, they're doing well, but suddenly, things are starting to turn around. Things are, your cost per click starts to increase and your click-through rate starts to decrease. Now, when that happens, it doesn't mean that the product is dead. It doesn't mean that the audience is not interested in your product. What it's really meaning is two things. Number one, you need to have a new ad with a completely different hook with a completely different approach so that you can actually captivate the remaining 95% of these audience right over here. So what you wanna do is once you actually see that, oh, I'm starting to not get my sales and my click-through rate is dropping, it's time for you to actually use a new ad to come up with another angle to go after the remaining 95% of the people that has not even gone to your website yet. This is called chasing the market. What you're essentially doing is you're using different ads to go after the same market that is actually uh, buying your product. Again, these people doesn't mean that they're not interested, it just means that your ad right here, I should say your ad right here, they may just not be resonating with them. So you can simply create a new ad and go after the market. Now let's say that you create a new ad and you're able to actually achieve another 5% click-through rate over here. 
Now, when that happens, then in this particular pool, you're getting another 5%, right? So essentially, now you're having a 90% remaining that you can go after the market. Now, when this happens, this is what I do, okay? Let's say that I tested two or three different ads and my third ad doesn't work anymore. That product is not selling anymore and you know that it used to sell, but it's not selling anymore. So what you want to do at this point is you don't want to give up this audience size. What you can do is find a new product that is similar to the cat necklace you're selling. There's so many variations of cat necklaces that you can sell. So what you can do is get a new product and then go after this market again. So what you're essentially doing is you continue to chase this market over here. So again, if you already have a product that is working and it's generating sales for you and it's producing results and suddenly you're not generating any more sales from them, your cost per click went up through the roof, there's two things you can do. Number one, create a new ad to go after the remaining 95% of the audience. The other method is simply go find a new product that is exactly the same or similar to what you're selling because there's so many variations of them and go back into the market again. So what you're doing is you're continuing to chase this market. That's what I call the chasing the market strategy. Now, it works only for interest targeting though. When it comes to lookalike audiences, you essentially wanted to actually use that same product to go after a lookalike and just make variations of that hook. Now, this chasing the market strategy is really for those who are starting out with a smaller audience size to see if that product works or not. And in reality, when you are running a perfect Facebook ad campaign for your Shopify store, you want to always run lookalikes and continue to test the interest targeting. Again, like I said, this interest targeting, at the beginning, it works and it died off. Don't just leave it dead. You can easily resurrect or revive this audience by finding another product right here or creating a new ad with a different angle so you are continuing to chase this market. Listen, 5% out of the 95%, you still have a lion's share of market and money to be made in this pool. So your job is to continue to, again, buy new products or create new ads and continue to chase this market. Now, there is going to be a point where you'll be like, well, all my, I, I test a new product, I test a new ad, it is not working anymore. You will hit that point. And at that point, you wanna basically check the number of reach for your ads. So let's say that if you continue to test this market over here, the cat uh, and flex targeting the necklace and they only have 500K, right, in audience size. Now, if you actually look at the reach of all the ads that is going after this market, and if your reach starts to actually creep above 50% or even close to like the 500K, you know that that audience, you completely milk the heck out of them and grab all the sales that you can. So at that point, then you can consider that interest targeting dead. But it is very rare for you to actually captivate the entire market of the 500K. It will give you the ability, once you actually find a product that works for one targeting and it suddenly just doesn't work, use this strategy. Get a new product that is similar or create a new ad and continue to chase the market, okay? And if you're at a point where your reach is close to the audience size that Facebook can give you, then you can consider that interest targeting dead, all right? So if you guys love this strategy, let me know right in the comment box below. And if you love seeing more of basically me sharing with you advertising tips or e-commerce tips, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right below. Click that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get instant notification right away. Other than that, please give me a thumbs up and I look forward on seeing you in our next episode. Peace out.